so this is the cell culture hood. This is our little cell culture area. And you definitely want to make sure that you check the blower before you begin. And if it's not on, that you turn it on. In this particular hood, it's pretty much on all the time unless the sash is closed. And you turn on the light. Um, there is a vacuum flask that runs all the way over to the vacuum in between uh, on the bench back there and you just have to turn that little knob on in order to activate the vacuum, vacuum for the hood. We're going to start with making media. This is a high glucose media that is for um, the NIH 3T3 cells and I'm going to add a 10% FBS, which I just showed you, um, but first I'm going to prepare the hood in order to do that. And what I do is I take the 70% alcohol and I spray down the hood liberally. Um, and then before adding my materials to the hood, I'm going to spray down my bottle and the tube with the, um, temp with the fetal bovine serum. I'm also going to spray those liberally. Um, don't spray things like your so culture flasks or the pipettes because those are already um, you would end up contaminating them by doing that um, but anything else that goes into the hood even such as a tube rack you do want to make sure that you are trying to clean it somewhat and in this case I'm just spraying it down um, with some alcohol then I'm going to wipe down the bottles and the hood um, to just get some of that excess alcohol um, basically wiped up so that it's not you know just messing up the hood um, but the last little trace of alcohol is actually just going to evaporate off as um, everything sits in the hood there's a pretty liberal airflow coming through here and so it actually is going to dry the alcohol pretty quickly um, much faster than it would dry just sitting um, on the bench additionally you're going to want a pipette aid a cordless one um, and so those are also plugged in over where you actually uh, would turn on the uh, vacuum flask. And so I also spray that down just because a lot of people use it for a large variety of applications. And I just want to make sure that it's, everything is as clean as possible in the hood. Um, and here's where Betsy's little OCT, OCD. <laughs> um, I don't like other people's face snarge on the face glass because um, I don't know. I'm just weird about that. So I always wipe down the outside of the glass too. Um, and now I am grabbing some flasks which are kept over to the side but um, for the purposes of this class will be put out for you. Um, you the flasks you guys are going to be using are a little bit smaller. Those are T75 flasks. And then before I actually hop in the hood and get going, um, I do spray down my hands and just kind of um, get those as sterile as I can uh, and now in the hood I've got another small flask um, and I've got my media and I've got my fetal bovine serum and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna those things have been sitting now so they're relatively dry every last drop of alcohol has evaporated off um, and I'm just gonna label the bottle because it's important to know when you're adding things like serum because there is a limited shelf life once you do that. It's only going to be good for six or eight weeks tops. Um, if you haven't used it up, you probably should throw it away. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and just label up this bottle of media. This is my DME and DMEM. And I'm just going to wipe down the label so that I'm able to write on it. Um, and I'm putting the fact that I'm adding 10% fetal bovine serum is going on that label. I am going to put my initials and I'm going to put the date that I actually made the media. And then additionally, at the bottom of the label, I'm actually going to put a little checkbox um, and something I write sterility check um, because I am going to check the sterility of the media after I make it. Uh, and so you can see I'm indicating where I have written my initials and the date. Um, so that I can keep track of the age of the media. The bovine serum, I'm just inverting the tube to make sure that it's evenly mixed before I pipette it. And um, loosening the caps on everything is very helpful when you're working in the hood. And so I've opened the cap and I've already got the hood 
or the lid on the bottle of media is already open. And now I'm just gonna pull up into the pipette, you know, and I have a 25 mil pipette there, so I'm gonna have to pipette a couple of times. Um, and the total volume of the media then, it's a 500 mil bottle, uh, and I'm adding 50 mils of fetal bovine serum. So I'm, it's, you know, 9.3% or something like that, but um, we just round it up to 10. Um, then after I've added the media, I'm going to dispose of the tube and um, I might record the lot number if I am concerned about it at all because um, there are lot numbers written on there. And then I just move everything out of the way that I'm not using at that moment. I am going to give a good liberal shake here to the media. And if you ever are making a bunch of media and are wondering, oh, I wonder if I added fetal, if I added serum to that. If you have shaken the bottle and it foams like that, you've definitely added serum. Um, you can see in, in unsupplemented media that it won't foam like that. It'll just kind of settle out really quickly. And then I'm just labeling this flask that um, it's going to be a sterility test that I'm adding media to it and I'm putting today's date on there. Um, <clears throat> and then as I do this, uh, you're going to see that after I've pipetted the media into the uh, flask, um, when in doubt, <laughs> I say when in doubt, throw it out, it, it, when in reference to pipetters um, and pipettes uh, that are attached to the pipette aid. But in this case, I add the media and you're going to see that I kind of feel like the part of my finger touched the inside part of that cap. And that's really all you need to have a contamination event. And so I'm not convinced that that's actually going to be a good sterility test. So I actually went and grabbed another T25 flask and labeled that as number two. Uh, and I'm going to be a little more careful this time <laughs> so that I'm not actually touching the inside of that cap before I reattach it. So that can be a true sterility test. Um, now, you know, with my experience that I've done this many, many years, um, I don't really expect either one of those to be contaminated, but I always like to eliminate a variable when at all possible. Um, so now that's it for how to make media. The media has been made. I've aliquoted for sterility testing, and that's it.